Hey guys, King Games here bringing you another video. This is a video on how the X like to go. You know, when I do these videos, I'm just be going over how I play mindset during uh, the playtime and just uh, you know going over the video vaguely overall. You know, it's not gonna be in great detail like a top five commentary or something like that. But, um, yeah, man, just a little bit, something to switch it up, but. Right now we have a huge Zerg on us, and I mean huge, I mean don't take my word for it, as of, luckily, <clears throat> half of that Zerg broke off and <laughs> took, you know, they ended up chasing Dove and they ended up killing him, but that's just because he was the slowest out of all of us, you know, Hurricane gave me the edge and speed, and um, Leonard Street gave him the edge, so Dove ended up not having the fastest legs in Tamriel, and he paid the price for it. Right now we're sizing these guys up. It doesn't look like too many. It looks like we can take them, but um, you know they put out way more damage than we thought. You know it's not your average Zerg. You know they have a basic understanding of the game and their rotation and things like that. So I have to quickly get the line of sight, or I would have quickly been bursted on the fucking ground. And that's <laughs> that's the bottom line. So I see a guy there pretty low. I'm keeping an eye on him, and Leonard's doing call out. So what we're trying to do is just. Leonard Freeways and I tank. I'm not a tank by any means, but people will focus to who they think is the squishiest target. And that guy made the mistake of trying to focus me and let Leonard Freeweave him to death and ended up paying the ultimate price of death for it. I see this guy's pretty low, but there's no way I can attack him with all these guys on me. So I, I'm pretty much trying to be a distraction here while Leonard just freely weaves his sort of abilities and attacks them. Now right now I'm trying to kite and run back through them and uh so I can line up a Dawnbreaker and uh time it with Leonard's Dawnbreaker but um as I as you can see that guy in the back slow so I'm gonna crit rush him and luckily you know <laughs> the crit rush is just strong enough even with the nerf to take that guy right the fuck out I see this guy's a low level so I know he won't be hard to kill so I focus him and luckily get a lucky and close it off which beds him now this fight we know we have it in a bag now I mean if they couldn't kill us with that many we know we're not going to lose 2v2, but there's not just two guys left. Um, there's a guy somewhere in stealth that Leonard ends up killing. But we decided to focus the sort since the other sort's not putting out any pressure. I mean, uh, he's not worried about us now. We're not worried about him. So, you know, um, right now he's just like, he's dancing, you know. He's trying to avoid as many attacks as he can, but I'm going to focus the weak targets. Um, Leonard's over there focusing a the guy that's low, so I'm going to focus the sort, and I'm going to try to get him out of there. And with one uppercut, and uh, we both execute him at the same time. One target left. Leonard killed his guy, and we're gonna double execute that guy and get him up out of there. But uh, yeah, man, that's it for this episode of How to X Like a Goat. And that's your boy, King of Games, out.